What is your name? My name is Chavis. I am your personal assistant. What can you do? I can do lots of things. For example, you can ask me time, date, weather in your city. I can open websites for you, launch an application and more. See the list of commands. Temperature in Mumbai. The weather in Mumbai is currently few clouds with a temperature of 14.47 degrees and wind speeds reaching 3.04 kilometers pH. What is the news for today? I have found 15 news. You can read it. Let me tell you the first two of them. Launch Epic Games. Launching Epic Games. Hey, what's up guys, this is Pace and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own virtual assistant in Python within 50 to 100 lines of code. And if you know Python, then you are good to go. So I have also created a Medium article on the same topic. So if you want to read uh, the text-based tutorial, then you can go to my Medium article from the description of this video and you can read uh, about this tutorial from there. So I'm going to put all the required links and GitHub repository in the description of video. So make sure to check it out and feel free to use my code. And before proceed, I would also recommend you to watch this video continue without skipping anything. Because if you miss something, then maybe you will not able to code it properly. Maybe you have some doubt. So I would recommend you to watch this video continuously uh, without skipping anything. And uh, if you really like my content, then make sure to subscribe our channel because I'm going to keep uploading this kind of videos. So guys, now let's code. Now let's create our virtual assistant. Now, first of all, you want to open choice of your editor. I want to open PyCharm. I like PyCharm pretty much. I am very familiar with the PyCharm. You can use choice of your own editor. So here I'm going to use PyCharm. You can go for the Visual Studio or anything else you want. So first of all, you want to create a project. I'm going to call it uh, Jarvis demo and I want to create a new virtual environment. I would also recommend you to create a new virtual environment for your project. If you don't know what is virtual environment, how to create it, you can simply Google it. You will get lots of article and lots of knowledge uh, from the Google. So here you can see that we have the project. We have new virtual environment. I want to create another folder name uh, script where I'm going to put all my Python scripts file. So this is my, my way of coding. So I would also recommend you to put your code separate in separate folder. So here we have created script folder. Now the next thing you want to install something, you want to install some library. So here I'm going to use Jarvis AI. So you can simply type pip install Jarvis AI. It will going to install all the dependencies and this libraries in your system. So first of all, let me tell you a little bit about Jarvis AI. So Jarvis AI is a, a library which provides the basic functionality for any uh, chatbot or virtual assistant project. So I'll put the link of this library in the description of video. So you can go there and you can read more about this library. You can read about its feature and you can also contribute this uh, in this library. Now, first of all, let me tell you this library is created by me. So here I have added few features which you can use in your virtual assistant project. And I would also recommend you to contribute in this project and or you can go to GitHub and start the project uh, that will really help. And if you contribute, that will going to help us to uh, create new functionality for this for uh, Jarvis AI and people can use uh, this Jarvis AI in their project and I'm going to mention all the credit. So I would recommend you to just go to the GitHub page and read all the guidelines and everything. So now let's get started. Now here in the script folder, I want to create a Python file. I'm going to uh, name it main.py and I'm just going to paste this started code uh from the pypy repository itself so i'm gonna paste the starter code here now let me explain few things here now first of all you need to create an object so you can create object like this so once you've created your object then you want to put uh, your all your code in while loop because you want to continuously perform the action so here i'm gonna put this mic input code uh in while loop so basically this obj.mic input will gonna convert our audio into text so it will gonna continuously listen our audio from our microphone of our laptop or computer and it will gonna convert that input into text so now here you can see that i have some uh problem with pi audio so you can simply install uh, pip install pi audio or you can install the pi audio wheel so uh, you may have some problem related to some library so you can easily fix it you can google it how to fix that 
So once you have fixed all your issues with libraries and dependencies, uh, it should work. Now here you can see that it is asking me to say something. It is working. Now let's say something. Now here you can see that it is recording my voice. It is converting my voice into text. So it is basically converting uh, speech to text. So now we have user input. Now you want to do something with this input. You wanna, so we're going to do the operation with this user input. Now, first of all, here you can see that I have created a function named T2S. Here I'm going to pass the text. Then I'm going to call text to speech from the Jarvis AI itself. So basically this text to speech is going to convert my text into a speech. Uh, now let's write our first uh, function. Uh, we need a regular expression for that. So let me import the regular expression here. Now here you can see that um, what uh, I have done if weather and or if weather or temperature match in our res then i'm going to call obj.weather and inside this obj.weather uh, it is asking me to provide a city name so i'm going to extract this city name from the user input itself so there are so many possibilities you can use your own logic so here i have fetched my city and i'm going to pass this uh, city into obj.weather and uh, this obj dot weather will gonna return a city temperature uh, that particular temperature of that city so here i can print this weather uh, result and i can also pass this weather result text into t2s and t2s will gonna convert that uh, text into speech similarly here i have created some other functions to do some other tasks like news uh, open google chrome or uh, games application and you can read about all this function in my medium article i'm going to put my medium article in the description where i have explained all the things uh, separately so you can go to my medium article and you can read about everything so i'm not going to explain each and every code and functionality here so you can simply read about all these things from the medium.com now i'm going to put all my code in my github repository and i'm going to put my repository link in the description of video so you can simply go there clone it and you can use it feel free to use it and if you really like my content if you really like my work you can also contribute in that jarvis ai uh, project and if you really uh, want to support me you can subscribe our channel that will really gonna help guys my name is chavis i am your personal assistant what can you do? I can do lots of things. For example, you can ask me time, date, weather in your city. I can open websites for you. Launch Epic Games. Launching Epic Games.